penetrator here. Wow, to block rain. That's right. We'll have to see Frank. So Frank, he doesn't reside at this residence anymore. He's uh, he's an older bloke, and I have done some work for him in the past. And I think I put in a uh, pump for a grey water tank. So I'll drop a link to that video below. He, he was a he was a good bloke. I, I enjoyed having a chat to him. So I'm more than happy to continue doing work for him. But he's had to move on. Um, I think he's in a in another place where he's living there because he can't stay at his house. So you know, it's, it's a little bit sad that that's happened. Um, but we'll go there and have a look. I've got to do some other jobs that there for him, for his wife, and get that all sorted. And I, I think they want me to have a look at some block drain that's going on there. Um, so we'll go there and have a look and, and see if we can get all this sorted. I think his wife is only staying there for maybe another six months or so from from the information I've been told. So it's more just wants the place functional for the next six months until they sell the place. It, it's on a bit of a block, you know, within 15 kilometers from the city. Uh, developers are just going to knock it down. So they don't want to spend a fortune and fix everything up. They just want things functioning for the time being. So let's go out there and see if we can get it all sorted and help them out. Right up, I'll see you when I get there. So we're out here at Frank's place. I'll drop a link in the descriptions below. I've been out here, done a job out here before and uploaded a video where I changed over a pump on a grey water tank. He's a nice old bloke. Um, apparently he's not feeling the best these days, so he's no longer living here. His wife's living here for maybe another six months and then uh, she'll be you know, moving on to downsizing. It's a pretty big block where they live, a uh, quarter an acre or more. Um, developers want this so this house will just get knocked down once she she goes uh, and lives somewhere else she just wants a few things tidied up so they called me out here just to tidy up a couple of taps and a cistern for them so I've done that then they said the toilet doesn't flush properly so I'm having a bit of a look into it to find out what the problem could be whether it's something related to the septic trenches or it could be the cast iron riser so let's go and have a look So we're set up here, we've got the septic tank here. Cast iron riser, goes to PVC and into the toilet. Uh, I've ran the camera up there, you can have a look. So there appears to be a build up of scale. It looks like the pipe there on the, on the left, the, the white pipe. And then there's a build up of scale in the cast iron riser. I might send the flex shaft up and see if I can just tidy that up a bit cast iron is all bunching up and you can see it all bubbling up here also so I've got the flex shaft at the moment set around there and you can see how it narrows in the picture check flex shaft cable drill over there I'll set all this up and we'll try and flex shaft it first and see if that tidies it up enough um, if not we may have to jet it so I'm gonna have a look at this screen over here so this is the 8mm Renzi flex shaft. It's pretty wild, it's not in any case or anything, so it does get out of control a little bit. But, I like a challenge. So I've got the camera in position. You can see that big chunk right there. Let's we'll see if this will tidy it up a bit.
picture again. We're back. That looks like our pipe right there. See if we can get the wall of this as we come back. Nah, it's most likely this one. Upstairs, flush the toilet, clear the screen, <laughs> rinse and repeat. some progress, we've taken a bit off, might just position that.
lot better. That beak. Where it was really narrow, that beak a bit of rust is, is gone. Pull us down a little bit. That looks a lot better. Taking off that big chunk of rust. And there's our pipe right there. I'll go flush some toilet paper down there and we'll check it out.
So th this looks um, like it's all good. You can see the water level there. It's not over the inlet. So nothing's blocking it from there to the trenches. So the problem was most likely in the stack riser. So I'm gonna pack all this up, put that cap back on. It's pretty busted that one, but I'll put it back in there and put some silicon and put all the pieces back together like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle and it'll be fine. That will see her out for the next six months easily. Right, well done here. See you on the next one.